Hi, and thank you for tuning in. This video will demonstrate how to use the CDS RScan Registry Report to carry out an RScan Quality Improvement Project. The first step to starting an RScan project is to review the CDS RScan Registry Report to identify imaging areas for which there is an opportunity to improve the ordering of high-value imaging exams. Log in to the RScan workspace and click CDS RScan Projects from the main menu and select CDS RScan Registry Report. Select your RScan topic from the Topic tab, for example low back pain, and then select the clinical indications you want to focus on. You can use the Exam Name tab to choose specific clinical exams. Choose your organization from the Organization tab and then the group name that you want to focus on with your project. Then you can use the date range selection to set a time frame for your project, such as the last 12 months. And once those parameters are set, refer to the rating distribution pie chart below to see if there's area for improvement. Lastly, you can use the baseline date range and post-education date range sliders to set a time frame for the baseline data review and the post-education data. This will allow you to see if there has been an improvement after the educational intervention. Once an imaging area and a potential referring group have been identified, determine the radiology and referring clinician champions to carry out the project. Several incentives for engaging in an RScan project include participants can earn up to 20 performance improvement CME credits, Completing an RSCAN project fulfills improvement activity requirements under the CMS Quality Payment Program, and several RSCAN educational activities provide CME credit. To register your project, select CDS RSCAN Registry from the main menu and click Registrations. From there, click the Add Project button. and then complete the register project form, filling out the radiology practice, radiology topic, and personnel details. Once you have registered your project, click Project Entry and enter the baseline data date range identified in your CDSR scan registry report. You can then carry out your educational intervention using materials found on the RScan website or using materials that you developed on your own. Determine the impact of that educational intervention by reviewing your CDS RScan report. Finally, enter the post-education date range using the same time period as your baseline data. For example, if you use two months of data for your baseline data, use two months of data for your post-education review. From there, you can view your report, fill out your project completion form, and submit your project. If you have any questions about using the CDS RScan Registry, contact us at rscaninfo at acr.org for more information. Thanks for watching.